uh, Decadent. Decadent uh, Brewing Company. Okay, so... Yeah, we're yeah. Indian Pale Ale made with peach, mango, matic, and uh, matic gas. Let's start over. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the Beer Garage. We got a brand new beer for you. In fact, it's an IPA that we'll, we'll be reviewing. So this IPA is a double whipped. It's made with uh, peach, mango, and Madagascar vanilla beans. It's a uh, it's 8.9% uh, alcohol by volume, one pint. And uh, yeah, let's dive right into this. All right, so let's let's crack this open and grab, put it in the glass. See what it looks like. Easy. Want too much head. Oh. All right. Beautiful pull. Thank you. I may have uh, taken a little too much there, but yeah, you're the Ooh, that looks really good. It's an uh, interesting color. I've, I've seen it a lot before, this type of color before, obviously. But uh, yeah, it's really nice body. Beautiful, beautiful bubbles form. Let's get the, uh, the smell here. It's really tropical, you know. It smells uh, like beachy, you know, if you're uh, on a beach. Yeah. No, you almost, you almost get that real beach vibe. Where you're really in the tropics right there. You, you notice that that pineapple and that mango really shine yeah. through immediately. A little bit of hops, just a little bit. A little bit. Mostly, mostly the bready malts that come through. So yeah, let's let's dive in. Let's All right. Cheers. Cheers, man. So immediately, I noticed the peach flavor coming right off. Yeah. Really strong, like. Right up in your face. I don't really, I don't really taste the vanilla bean to a degree, but it, it's almost a mouthfeel. It almost like adds like a little bit of a creaminess to it. Definitely, you definitely get that nice vanilla cream sort of towards the middle and the end notes. Yeah, definitely really nice. Beautiful. It's uh, it's really drinkable. You know, it's like really refreshing. Uh, I know summer's coming to an end, but it's like definitely yeah. a summery drink. You definitely, know? definitely beach weather. Going out on the boat, going out on the lake. Definitely take a four pack of this with you. Yeah, it's like it's more drinkable than like a Corona even. Like, oh yeah, you're not getting the like acidy, you know, taste from the Corona. Like yeah, like the, the typical beer or alcohol -y taste. Like this is, you know, you're getting a really nice smooth drink from it. It's like a cream pop, you know, like the title. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The title definitely lives up. Definitely. I it's, mean, uh, points so for does the label. Isn't I like it. I like the label as well, and the uh, just the creativity in general. So yeah. Um, what do you rate the? Let's rate, let's rate the smell. What do you what do you think about the smell? I would definitely say the smell leaves a little bit to be desired. I would say four out of five stars. Okay. I'd probably say like maybe four point five. Um, the color, you know, it, it looks it looks good. It looks like a typical IPA. You get a nice haze in there. Yeah. Definitely it's something you look for, especially in a summer drink. I don't see any partic part particles, so I'm not sure if it's unfiltered. Exactly. Definitely, you're not you're not getting any uh, chunks of anything in there, any funk or anything. So yeah, yeah exactly. that's definitely a good sign. So, all right. So the uh, the taste. What are you what are you gonna rate the taste? Out of taste. Five? Definitely a solid four. Okay. You know, it leaves a little bit to be desired, especially in the vanilla with the after notes. A little bit of the peach. You know, it's a little overpowering for some of the other flavors. But I feel like it's a really strong beer. On you know, I would I would probably. Something that would add to it is maybe a little more, a little, a little bit of pine, or like earthy. I can definitely agree with that. A little bit of earthiness would have definitely balanced it out. So, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna give it maybe uh, again probably like 4.5 out of five, and that probably rounds that off. So I'm gonna give the whole beer a the rating about 4.5 out of five. 4.3. 4.3. Okay, that works. Um, so yeah, I, I would recommend this. It's uh, if you see it out, definitely go grab it. You know, it's um, if you can't find it, it's not necessarily something to be like extraordinarily sought out for, but it's it's good. If you find it at your local liquor store, definitely pick it up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Don't look for it. It's not worth your time. No, if we gave it a really high score though. It is worth your time. Yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> no, yeah, it's good. So um, so go pick it up if you, if you try it and then like leave your comments down below of what you think of it. If we maybe missed anything on the uh, the notes, the, the taste, the smell, whatever, leave your comment down below. And, uh, and yeah, we'll see you, uh, see you back again at the beer garage.